very much, Neil. My name is Helen West. Um, I belong to the School of Biosciences, which is actually based at the Sutton Wellington campus. However, I'm also a member of the Environmental Science section, which is based here at University Park. And it's this course director for the BSc in Environmental Science that I would like to uh, talk to you uh, today. Now, we've heard very eloquently from John that if you want to develop technologies in order to um, remediate pollutants in the environment or to combat climate change, then you should do the BEng. However, before you can remediate an area of land or understand climate change, you need to understand what the problem is in the first place. And in order to understand what the problem is in the first place, um, I would say that you should do a degree in environmental science, because that's the whole ethos behind this degree, is to understand the problem. So I'm going to change tack a little bit and be a bit more specific about what's in the degree um, because this is the only talk that, uh, that you will get uh, with regard to this. So I'm going to, to go to the specifics. We've already heard from uh, my colleagues why we need to clean up the environment, why environmental issues um, should be at the forefront of, of, of development and our understanding. We run a BSc in environmental science. There are also two sister degrees. There is a BSc in Environmental Science with Chinese Studies, and there is also a BSc in Environmental Biology. Now, the BSc in Environmental Science and the BSc in Environmental Science with Chinese Studies are based on this campus at University Park, and I'm the course director for those. So if you have any questions afterwards, please ask. The BSc in Environmental Biology is based at the Sutton Bonington campus, which is about 11 miles south of here, and the course director for that is Professor Colin Black. But I, can also, I also have information about that course, so again, please feel free to ask. Now, the Environmental Biology and the Environmental Science um, both come with a certificate in European Studies, should you wish to do, to do that or to take that tag. So, I'm going to launch straight into uh, the BSc Environmental Science. This is the, our key degree, and I want to just talk a little bit about the modules that are in there. We've already heard um, from one of our colleagues what a module is, and the degrees are built up of these little courses, these modules. You do about 12 per year, depending on the, the type of module you do. The first year, um, if we look at my little pie chart here, you will notice that most of the modules that you do in the first year are core. In other words, they're compulsory modules. And the reason we do that is we need to give you a good grounding um, in, in, in the sciences that we think are important so that you can make informed choices about your modules in years two and in years three. But also, you come in here with lots of different um, A-levels, lots of different backgrounds. So we need to kind of bring you up to the same level so that you won't flounder when you get into the next year. So you'll notice in our core modules, we have terms like foundation, maths and stats, principles of ecology, introductory chemistry and geology. But don't kind of worry about that. Um, don't think, gosh, is that all they do? This sounds quite tedious. We also have some quite exciting, more environmentally based modules, such as global processes, oceanography, um, atmospheric environments. So you will also be doing um, what you may imagine to be environmental um, subjects as well. Okay? There is a little bit of choice, but not too much. You're allowed to choose two modules in the first year. In the second year, you'll notice from my pie chart here, the emphasis has changed, and 50% of your modules will be compulsory or core modules, and 50% will be options. Now, clearly, in a talk like this, I can't actually um, give you an, a, a full list of all of the options that are available, but this is just to give you a flavour of what you can do. Our core modules, um, we still have some of those, things like soil science, environmental measurement are very important, and communicating environmental science. Um, this is a, 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 a module which are, well, teaches you to kind of give presentations, and we're very keen on uh, transferable skills in this degree because it's very important. But we also have a number of optional modules. You'll notice here there are two field courses, but we have other modules such as environmental change, microbial ecology, patterns of life. Now, you might notice here that some of these modules are actually um, biased towards geography, and some of them are actually biased towards engineering, as well as biased towards biology. Now, within the second year, if you're not sure what your interests actually are, then you can have quite a nice eclectic mix of various modules that are relevant to environmental science. 
Or if you think, actually, I'm quite interested in geography, um, I would like to, to concentrate a little bit on the geography modules, you can do so. And similarly, if you think, well, I'm interested in engineering, but I don't quite want to commit myself to the engineering degree, but I would like to follow up their modules, you can also do engineering modules. Okay? So you can tailor the second year to suit your interests. In the third year, my little pie chart has changed yet again, and you'll notice that one third of that year is well, composed of a core module, and that core module is the environmental science project. So it's quite an important aspect, but although it's a core module, you do get a choice in the kind of project that you, would, you can do. So if you have an idea, if you have a burning passion for a, a particular aspect of environmental science, then you can bring that idea to us and say, well, I would like to do, you know, study whatever it is that you want to study. But if you have no idea whatsoever, then clearly we will give you um, very clear guidance and, and direction. But you'll notice that here, apart from the fact we also have another two uh, field courses on offer, you'll notice that there is a strong pollution theme coming out. We have soil and water pollution, air pollution, um, contaminant fate and impact, and that's a reflection of the research interests of the environmental science academic staff. Okay. The big thing, oh, actually before I go on to the big thing, I'll talk about the variations of, on this theme. I've been concentrating on the BSc environmental science, but you can, if you wish, do a BSc environmental science with Chinese studies. Now, we have a campus in China, Ningbo campus, and if you wish to go and visit Ningbo and do a field trip out there for uh, three weeks to a month, then you can do so, okay? if you're doing this degree. If you do this degree, we would expect you to change some of your options from the standard um, BSc Environmental Science and take modules such as Mandarin um, and Environment and Development in China. If that doesn't interest you and you think, well, actually, I'm much more keen on biology than any of this kind of you know, hard chemistry and engineering stuff, then you may want to think about the environmental biology degree. This is the one that's based at Sutton Bonington. Here we offer modules such as avian biology, evolutionary biology, and a whole host of, of other modules that obviously are far too uh, numerous to, to put in here, but it does give you an idea of what you can do. And sticking with this theme of uh, variations, if you wish to make the standard three-year degree in environmental science or environmental biology into a four-year degree and study abroad for a year, then you can um, elect to, to do the degrees with the European certificate. And we have a number of partners in France, Germany, um, Austria and Spain, so you can, you can go out um, there and actually study. If you think, well, a year abroad, don't really want to do that, but I wouldn't mind trying a semester, then we are also um, part of the Universitas 21 scheme, which you've already heard about. And you may want to go and work in industry or try your hand being an environmental consultant, in which case you can take a year out between your second and third year and do that. One of the big things, the, in fact, a third of your final year is the research project. I've already alluded to that. Key things here that differ, I think, from the research project um, that you may see in other degrees is that we don't expect you to write an enormous great big thesis at the end of it because we feel that it's perhaps more beneficial these days to actually give you some transferable skills such as oral presentations, learning to write reports, learning to write a scientific paper, because these are things that you will do when you graduate, whether you go on to do a PhD or whether you go on to work in industry or